So I think the course really helped me because it's quite easy to remember to be curious when you're living in an international context with people and languages that look different, sound different. But then doing that when you're living in a place where the people look like you and speak the same language as you, um, doing the course was a good reminder that just because those things are the same doesn't mean we are actually the same and that it is very important to always stay curious. I think going through the course, I, 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 quite, I was quite fascinated by the example of Jesus with the woman at the well, where Jesus was really quite curious, wanting to know this woman and got drawn into her story and by knowing that was able to connect with her. But doing the course just reminded me of um, what an amazing thing it is to be just interested in someone who is different, um, not immediately want to talk about myself but be more interested in finding out about them, uh, what makes them tick, you know, what their story is, uh, what, what their life experiences have been, uh, what their values are, all of that just helps me to more effectively be a parish priest in this place. Uh, we don't need to be speaking for somebody else to know that we are there and present. And I quite like Christ's uh, style of teaching where he asks people first and he almost starts some of his sermon by asking, and what do you think? That just lets you connect with people. It removes any barrier, it removes fear. It, it helps you to uh, listen to people, be present with them, understand them and then you can connect and really bond. And I think that just relaxing a bit into um, being able to fully engage with the person in front of you and be focused on, on them, uh, maybe a bit of forgetting of ourselves um, because we know that we're secure in Christ, that has just been a really um, helpful reminder for me. It's been a good exercise to regularly look back and go, actually, I am who I am, but for the grace of God, and uh, it, things could be very, very different. Um, and a good reminder to remember that uh, I do need to reimagine what my life could have been like um, if the situation had been different. If we work within those three principles, really, and reimagine being the third one, we can really uh, move forward harmoniously, appreciating each other's differences, but seeing that unity. I think our Christian community in this place doesn't really look like the community outside. And it's really interesting to start to think about what this community might look like uh, if it really started to reflect the diversity of the place in which our church sits.